After being one of the smallest schools in 12 to a Division One, the Deweyville Pirates look forward to being on a more even playing field in 12 to a Division Two. Now here's a closer look at the Pirates in the latest edition of 409 Sports Two a Days. In 2019, the Deweyville Pirates managed to sneak their way into the playoffs by securing the fourth and final playoff spot in 12 to a Division One. Now that the Pirates dropped to 12 to a Division II, and with the wealth of experience coming back on both sides of the ball, the Pirates look poised to make a run at the district title. It helps big time to have that experience, and, and they, they've been in the war, they've been in the fight, and uh, you know, they, they're stronger, they're smarter, they've had, they've had game reps and game speed, and it, it just makes a big difference. They're not thinking, they're reacting and playing, and that's a big, big deal about it. Despite the division drop, Deweyville head coach Brandon Prouse knows the district title won't come easy. I think it's going to be a great district. Uh, Holiday said it returns a lot, and they were young. Even though, you know, they're all, they're always tough, and it's a rivalry game with us. Uh, Burtonville, they, they're they going to be tough. they got some great athletes. Highland's got more kids out than we got. You know, Sabine Pass, they're, they're going to have some great kids. So I think it's going to be a great district. Though the Pirates' offensive line will be depleted this season, Prouse will still go with the slot T attack, led by senior Cade Watson. He's a little fullback. He came on late last year because our fullback got hurt uh, against uh, San Augustine. Cade stepped right in, and uh, you know we it, it took a little bit of lumps here and there, but he's explosive. Uh, he's very quick, and uh, we're, we're excited about him. The Pirates are set to open their season at home against Wes Harden on Friday, August 28th. I think if we can stay healthy. Uh, that's the key. If we can stay healthy, and that's with everybody across the state, uh, I, think we, I think in the end of things, we're going to be right in the mix. 